Hey, I'm going to show you how to use one of the updates that Canva just added to their Magic Studio. I don't know if you're like me, but when you see all of these new things get added at once, it's like pretty overwhelming. Like, where do I even start? I'm never going to figure out how to use any of this because there's just too much. It seems a little too high tech for me. So we're just going to take it one little step at a time. And today we're going to do Magic Grab. All right, so what we need to do first is we're gonna open up a document. And today I'm not gonna work on something for my business. I'm gonna work on a personal project. Uh, I'm going to get started on holiday cards. So I'm assuming that you might have other projects that you do in Canva besides just business stuff. And this might be a fun way for you to do something personal for yourself and for your family. All right, so we're gonna to go to create a design and I'm gonna do a five by seven size. So I'm just gonna to go to custom size. I'm gonna change this to inches. Then I'm gonna do a seven width and five height. And I'm gonna say, create a new design. So what you'll need to do next is you'll need to figure out the photo that you wanna use. Um, so I am going to bring in one of the photos um, from a recent family photo shoot and I'm going to drop it here. Okay, so once it's added to Canva, then you can click on it and it gets added to your document. I'll eventually be stretching this out so it fits the whole um, surface of this design. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to grab. What you'll do is go to Edit Photo. And then you're going to see that there are some options here and you're going to say Magic Grab. Click on that and it's going to work on pulling just that one main subject out of your photo. Here you can see I can move that around now, which is kind of fun. And um, I'm just going to make sure it stays right in place. And now I'm going to make this fit the whole size of my document. All right, now I'm going to do some fun effects here. This is gonna be a fun way for you to add in some text. And as you're learning this, you can think of how you could do this for a fun Instagram post or for your own card or whatever you're working on. So now that I have our family right there and we have a background here, I'm gonna add in some text. So I'm just gonna click on text and then I'm just gonna add a heading. I'm gonna change the font in just a second. Um, I'm just gonna say happy holidays. Right now I'm going to change the font. Here I think this apple fat face italic is fun. And right here it's going over the top of my family and I want to pull it behind. So if you go to position, go to layers, and now I can just bring it there. If you wanna add a border, you can, I'm gonna click on R on my keyboard and then I'm just gonna bring up a rectangular box and then I'm going to slide the box and I'll be centering it in a minute. Now I'm going to center it so that's centered. Now I'm going to clear out the inside of that box and now I'm gonna create an outline here. I'll click on that and you can change the color and you can change the thickness. And then I'm gonna move the position of this so it doesn't get in my way. All right, and of course you can change the color here to anything that you want. All right, so you can see how the text isn't standing out very much. So I'm gonna bring in a gradient, um, just like a gradient element that I found that I really like. So I'm gonna to go to my starred folder because I've starred it because I like it. I'm gonna use it a lot here. All right, and here it is click on it it gets added and now I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to stretch it out so it's fitting the reason I like this one is because it goes to a transparent so it's not like taking up the whole photo I still want you know to be able to see your feet and things all right again I'm going to go to the position and move it to just above my photo all right, so once I have it just how I want it, then I'm going to hit share. I'm going to download. And for this, since I'm gonna be printing it, I'm going to save it as a JPEG and I'm going to increase the quality. And then I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna send it to my favorite print shop um, and get those photos 
all printed out and ready to go. All right, I hope you found this uh, fun new thing that you can learn and you're already imagining all the different things you can do with it. And we'll see you next time.